starting lineup, the visiting Cleveland Cavaliers. At power forward, George Niang. At the other forward position, Max Struess. At point guard, Darius Garland. At center, Jarrett Allen. At the other guard position, Donovan Mitchell. of Latin heritage, both among its players and fans. And tonight, we'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. Looking now at some numbers for Darius Garland. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. And look at the starters for the Cavaliers. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. Niang out there with Jared Allen. And it's Drews in at the small folk. And for the Rockets, the guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. Smith is out there with Brooks. And it's Thompson in at the small forward spot. And Greg on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south and hurt. And Thompson sends it back. They recover it. Here's Allen. Nails Jerry, the Allen. baby hook. Well, you see the hustle from Allen there, guys, and his relentlessness and the mindset to keep at it really allows him to gobble up those offensive boards. Now, here's Green. Van Vliet outside. Goes up on the wing. Rocket six. Smith for three. The rebound by Niang. And here are the Cavaliers. Outside Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Garland against Van Vliet. Garland kicks to Mitchell. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. And Mitchell is a confident scorer, including from downtown. Down low, and it's Green with the jam. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. The Cavaliers have gone two or three here to start off the game. The pass to Niang. Now Mitchell. Over Green. The shot by Mitchell, no good. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with Rhythm. Brooks with a screen on Garland. And 
and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Now the Cavaliers with it. It's a three-point game. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. Here's Van Vliet following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Now here's Van Vliet. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Washington. And there really was a physical aspect of his performance that was off the charts. He was taking it right at him, and he just kept getting those calls and getting to the line. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Allen with the screen for Struce. Allen finds Mitchell. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by three. The Cavaliers beat them last time when these two teams met in Cleveland. And their last time playing this club, foul trouble became a big problem for them. The starters had to take an early stint on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. Passes it to Niang. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Four on the clock. Allen passes to Garland. Shoots over Van Vliet. Garland, no good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Garland against Van Vliet. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly failing. The Rockets shooting their first free throw of the night. The line for one, Fred Van Fleet. Free throw good, Van Fleet. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of him. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here is Smith. He's coming off a 16-point game against Washington. Thompson dishes to Smith. And it's Smith finishing it off. Boy, Smith put some real power behind that jam. Well done, young man. Van Vliet against Garland. Pass to Niang. Now, here's Mitchell. Pass to Garland. But Trey, that one's in his first Here's bucket of the gone. game. He's one for two. Three. Excellent pass from Mitchell. His teammates are so fortunate to have a guy to make them better. Smith kicks to Green. Back to Smith. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Already finding the spots and capitalizing. Playing really efficient basketball. Mitchell against Green. Allen a screen on Green. Mitchell passes to Allen. Basket good. Boy, exhibiting toughness right there and persistence. Allen might have been fouled on that inside basket. Garland against Van Vliet. Shoots over Garland. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Not pretty. You've just got to shake off a miss like that. Struz passes to Garland. And there's the pass to Allen. Shoots over Van Vliet. There's Allen. That's good on the assist by Garland. Allen's got six. Oh, good touch inside. I mean, Allen does have a nice-looking shot, but he's really at home near the hoop. 
Green in the post. Covered by Mitchell. Something I like about Jalen Green, that, that ability to go vertical and just adjust midair. We call that great body control, partner, and you've seen guys over your time around the league where that's a special gift, and it really can make it hard for Take defenders. Green is excellent using that body and athleticism. The first one falls. And this late in the season, Greg, do you consider rookies to even be rookies anymore? They've played so many games at this point. I mean, yes and no. Uh, they aren't as green as they were to start the season, but rookies still need a full year to fully kind of learn what it takes day in and day out. And both free throws good for Green. Hey, it's hard not to gush about Green. I mean, he's one of the more exciting talents to enter this league in, in quite some time. The feed to Mitchell. That's good, and it's Kerlin with the assist. Mitchell. Garland's got four assists now tonight. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Let's quickly take a look at the standings out east. The season nearly complete. You look at the Cavaliers. Unless they completely melt down, they should be in good position for a playoff run. And seeing where the Cavaliers are, their fans had high hopes for them this season, and they have not let them down. It's been a fantastic campaign thus far, and they really are set up perfectly for a deep run in the playoffs. It's obvious their eyes have been squarely on the postseason for a while. It'll be fascinating to see if the regular season dominance carries over. Here's Smith following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. The drive by Green almost, but it rolls out. It's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. Struce with it. Still without a basket. Now Garland. Pass to Niang. A three from Struce. Another three for Cleveland. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Rockets trail by five. And here is Van Vliet. Five points in the game. Here's Thompson. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. We see this night in and night out. Thompson uses his size and elevation to make tough shots in the paint. Harlan finds Allen. Allen with the screen for Mitchell. Pass to Garland. Back to Mitchell. And here's Struess for three. Good, and it's Struce. Mitchell picking up three the assist. Struess has got a couple of threes now in the first with the Cavs. Smith outside. The dish to Thompson. Out to Brooks. Houston moving the ball around. Houston needs to get a shot. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. And another three for Houston. Three of four to start. Young fella came to play. Mitchell outside. Allen with the screen for Mitchell. Up again. It's good on the putback. And the Cavaliers lead by five. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Thompson passes to Green. No good from outside. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Mitchell, this is to Allen. Allen with the screen for Garland. Back to Allen. It's stolen by Smith. And here they come. Here's Van Vliet. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And just a solid way to start the game. Four or five. Outside Garland. Pass to Struess. 
over Thompson. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. Now a timeout called by Houston. The Rockets call timeout. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. Jay Shanti comes in for Green. And Aaron Holliday is subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Damian Jones is checked in for Allen. Wade comes in for George Neal. Okoro, he's checked in for Max Drews. And it's Levert in for Mitchell. And Cleveland making a change here. Mobley's checked in. Isaiah Mobley. And against Levert. Shot on the wing, and he gets the jumper to drop. Thompson's got his second best. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now, here's Akoro. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Mobley misses. Rockets trail by three. Green, the pass to Thompson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Thompson. Thompson's got his third basket of the night. And Thompson letting his athleticism take over there as he was bumped. Holiday against Mobley. Mobley a screen on Thompson. Levert finds Mobley. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Throw good, Mobley. And both free throws, good for Mobley. Here's Holiday. He has yet to score. Two minutes remaining. Here's the pass to Smith. He dishes it to Thompson. Outside, Green. Thompson outside. Five on the clock. Puts it up from 15. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. 136 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Levert. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. You know, you can see the confidence level Levert has by how often he hunts for his shot, especially from there. Thompson, high post, shoots it. And it's Wade with the rebound. Cleveland leading by five. Arlen kicks to Levert. Wade outside. Passes to Garland. Wade sets the pick for Garland. Back to Wade. Stolen by Thompson. Pass to Green. Thompson in the post. Guarded by Garland. Good on the shot. So far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Thompson against LeVert. Wade a screen on Thompson. And the foul on Jayshon Tate. That's foul number two for him. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. Houston making some changes. Jock Landale's checked in for Smith. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. Cleveland also making some changes. Jones comes in for Mobley. And it's Mitchell in for Garland. Levert against Holiday. 
Shot clock at six. Pass to Okoro. Here's Levert. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. It's a three-point game. Tate. And Okoro pulls it down. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. For three, Mitchell. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close the quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer, that'll do it. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Cleveland ahead, up by six. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Toyota Center. Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. We've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers. Spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. We've got Green. He's out there with Jay Sean Tate. And it's Holiday into the shooting guard. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Picking up his second foul here has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. Here's Tate. No good on the quick three. The Cavaliers leading by six. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you very much. Jalen Green is trying to reach his potential as a star in this league. He says, things are starting to slow down for me. I'm recognizing the game a lot more and understanding what my role is. I'm locked in and hopefully I'll give my team a chance to win and just take my game to another level, becoming a lot more efficient and aggressive. Kevin, back to you. All right. Thanks, DA. Now here's Levert. Mitchell kicks to Levert. Back to Mitchell. Let's it go from deep. Rockets with the rebound. Van Vliet outside. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Holiday, the pass to Van Vliet. Now here's Green. Wade is covering. Shots good by Green. And the pick and roll delivers. Van Vliet making the right decision, giving up the rock. Levert the pass to Jones. Mitchell outside. Jones sets the pick for Mitchell. From deep three-point land. Green with the rebound. Buckets trail by seven. There's the drive. And the bucket is good. Three-point play change here for him. And you really can't forget about Green's speed. So effective on the drive. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Yeah, he's at 81% from the line. And when we had a chance to see him, he's had great form and, and continues to look confident. And I like the fact, guys, that those numbers have gone up since last season. I mean, he said free throw shooting was an area he was looking to improve. And he has. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Does it matter where you're from, Craig, your background? Uh, you got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you've earned it. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a group. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Cleveland leading by four. Here's Levert, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Now, here's Mitchell. Shot clock at five. Drills the three-pointer. Mitchell's got six in the quarter. 
again. It's Donovan Mitchell with a huge night. One of the premier players in our league. And Green on the wing, covered by Mitchell. Jeff Green on the wing. The Rockets with another miss. Cleveland's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Here's LaVert. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. LaVert's got the lead up to nine now for the Cavs. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. From seven, another miss by Houston. For Cleveland, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Okoro kicks to Mitchell. Jones with the screen on Van Vliet. Mitchell passes to Okoro. Six to shoot. Wade sets the pit for LeVert. Again, the Cavaliers score. LeVert. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Now here is Holiday. No scoring in this one. Van Vliet outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And you have to appreciate the confidence. Van Vliet wastes no time shooting the rock when he is in that group. And it's Jock Landale with the foul. That's his first foul for the Rockets. Dylan Brooks comes in for Tate. And it's Green and for Aaron Holiday. Oh boy, he's checked in for Cleveland. Levert against Green. Six on the shot clock. Levert kicks to Wade. Let's it go with a three. Got a piece of it. Rejected by Brooks. Part of why he's stuck as a second rounder. Dylan gives great effort on defense. Oh, here's Van Vliet. 13 points in the game. And the shot goes in. Van Vliet's got 15. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. Stolen by Mitchell. Inside, and it's Wade with the jam. And you want more of this from Mitchell. Good to see him moving the ball like that. Timeout time called time the Rockets. Call. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. Houston making a switch. Smith has checked in. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Allen's checked in for Mobile. Nguyen comes in for Dean Wade. Max Truce has checked in for Isaac Okoro. And it's Garland in for Levert. Green passes to Van Fleet. Brooks outside. Outside Green. Connects from three point range. Green's got his third basket of the night right there. Yep, you know, after a score in this first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Mitchell wide open. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Garland's got six assists in the game. Struce against Brooks. To the paint. Here's Smith. And he makes good on the way. Smith's got six. Hey, we know Smith has an excellent outside stroke, but I like to see him attacking, getting down low and doing some work inside. Clark, one benefit that Jabari Smith has had in his career 
is the wisdom from his dad. He has learned a lot. No wisdom like a father's wisdom, particularly when a dad has traveled the road that his son is traveling in the NBA. I'm sure his dad learned a ton in his experience that he has passed on to Jabari Smith Jr. in a way that's benefited the younger series. For Cleveland, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. You know, I know that's an aspect they've been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. They throw good, Garland. Hard not to like how dynamic Garland is on the floor. He's a high energy player who works hard to maximize his impact on the game. Houston making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Good on both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Rockets trail by seven. Now the pass to Smith. Jacks up a three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Defensively, you have to live with Thompson making those because if you get up too close at the arc, Almond will blow right by you. Garland dishes to Mitchell. Passes it to Niang. Shot clock at six. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Rockets with the rebound. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Cleveland leading by four. Garland surveying the D. Pass to Mitchell. Goes up the baseline. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Garland's got assist number seven for him tonight. Outside, Green. Green with a screen on Garland. Green kicks to Green. Three-pointer, Brooks. Nailed from three-point land. Brooks has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They've led by as many as 11 points. Green by Nian. Fires the three. And that's good. Donovan Mitchell for three. Mitchell's got 13 points in just this quarter. Green against Garland. Smith lays it up off the glass. Eight points so far for Jabari Smith. There you see the focus from Smith Jr. Defense a little tight and snug, but still able to get it done. Mitchell against Thompson. The drive by Mitchell. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Mitchell's got 27 points. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Here's Thompson. It's hauled in by the Cavaliers. Allen's got his sixth rebound on the night. Spruce finds Mitchell. Pass to Allen. And then cheer down as he goes right over and then Thompson. How about the hops for a guy that long? Allen enjoying throwing it down like that. Bam! Awesome display of athleticism captured by our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Rockets trail by eight. Outside green. Cavaliers with the rebound. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Now, here's Mitchell. A 14-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Thompson with it. And it's Smith, top of the key. He kicks it to Green. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Green's got his third bucket of the night. Green doing work inside, feels like. He can score on just about anybody. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Hey, Sam, 
has checked in for the Rockets. Yeah. Switch here also for Cleveland. LaVert's checked in. Allen outside. There's Garland. Rejected by Van Vliet. And perfect positioning from Van Vliet. Wanting to block shots whenever he can. Great instance. The pass to Thompson. And he gets it to go. And now just a four-point Cavalier lead. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Avert against Green. Now here's Lavert. Defense right on him. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. And that one good. Brooks has got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now, here is Levert. He has six. This is it to the end. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Beyond the arc. Good for the basket. Good. Starting off yeah. one for one with that shot. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. There's the screen. Count it, and the Cavalier lead has been cut down to just three on the basket from Green. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Now, here's Garland. He picked up 27 points in the last win against New Orleans. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. There's 37 seconds left now here in the second. Van Vliet kicks to Green. Pass to Smith. Brooks outside. Green with the ball. From deep. Headshot off. Now Levert. Stolen by Thompson. To the inside. Here's Brooks. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got six assists here tonight. Oh, nice play from Brooks down in the paint. Not afraid to get physical on the inside. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Cleveland. A terrific quarter for him. And now he has a total of 27 points. Shouldn't take him long to get up over 30. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much with J.B. Bickerstaff. Coach, what will be the areas of emphasis on defense in the second half? Well, we got to do a much better job just being physical, fighting them deep down in the post. We got to be very aggressive early, not letting them get deep post catches, make them have to kick the basketball out and not take those easy buckets. That is doing your work early, and we'll see if you can do it in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Hello, everybody. We'll break down the action shortly, but first, a glance at how the Eastern Conference standings are stacking up as the season winds down. Question is, at this point, do we need conferences at all? Ernie, you know what? As a senior member of this team, you're supposed to be protecting tradition. That's what makes Ernie great, an open mind. I don't like to play favorites, but Shaq, you're my favorite. Oh, thanks, Ernie. Love you, man. Now let's talk about our featured game. Guys, Donovan Mitchell was the star of that first half. Excellent first half, scoring the ball, doing it efficiently. Dare I say, like one Shaquille O'Neal? Well, of course you shot a high percentage, Jack. All you did was just catch the ball and dunk it. Maybe a three-foot jump hook. Maybe. Uh, no, you did a lot of other things. Okay, I'll let it go. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action.
second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. Niang out there with Max Struess. And it's Allen in at the center position. Green's activity on offense is something I really appreciate. Because of that, I think he makes the defense typically commit fouls. Two shots. And it's tied up with that one. He's off on the second. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Harlan with it. Now Green defending. Harlan kicks to Niang. The three. That one doesn't go. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. Spruce against Thompson. They kick it out to Green for the lead. The rebound by Niang. Niang's got his fourth rebound in this one. Mitchell against Smith. Pass to Niang. That three off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Van Vliet against Garland. Here's Smith. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Cleveland's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Van Vliet against Garland. And the pass to Allen. Kicks to Mitchell. Six to shoot. Buries the long-range jumper. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 30 points. And that's tough. What else can the D do in that situation? Mitchell just locked in. And lead against Garland. Smith the pass to Thompson. Back to Smith. Smith drawn the double team. And the wide open shot from Green. It's good the assist that time from Smith. Smith's got three assists in the game. And now the latest from our reporter David Alder. Thank you very much. The Cavaliers have one of the league's stingiest defenses. Evan Mobley says it's tough to be the best defense nowadays. Every team has multiple guys that are super talented. So just hanging our hats on defense every night. All of us are very versatile, can guard multiple positions. That's what makes us so good. Back to you guys. Ah, thanks, DA. Good stuff. Now Thompson following the three-point attempt by Donovan Mitchell. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got 10. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now, here's Garland. He has five. Here's Allen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Jabari Smith picks one up. And you know, when Allen gets this positioning, the defense is in trouble, which in turn forces them to commit the foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Super two. First free throw is good. Boy, you know, you look at the raw athleticism of Allen. Very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. And 
And so he's able to get one of two. Houston's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Thompson dishes to Green. And Thompson kicks to Green. Back to Thompson. Green deciding where to go with it. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Rockets have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. One shot. Free throw good, Green. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. For three, Mitchell traps in the tray. Mitchell. Mitchell's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the can. How do you guard that? I mean, Mitchell just towing with the defense. Green with the ball. Garland picks him up. Darius Garland, second personal foul, third team foul. He shot well from the line tonight, going four for five. And high quality numbers for him all season long. How about 81 from the line? And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. That's good from Green. Both free throws good from Green. The Cavaliers trail by three. Passes it to Mitchell from past the arc. That's good, and it's Carlin with the assist. Carlin's got his eighth assist in the game. Timeout called the Rockets. season let's see how the standings are out west taking a look at Houston their season nearly over unless a form of miracle happens for Houston they've gone three of five to start the second half developing a nice rhythm out there Garland against Van Vliet. Thompson outside. He feeds it to Brooks. Shoots over Niang. Brooks misses. Cleveland's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. The wide-open shot from Struess. Another three for Cleveland. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now here's Green. 20 points for him. Pass to Van Vliet. There's the triple. The Rockets again can't hit. Cleveland leading by three. Well, Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. The shot by Mitchell, no good. And so it's Smith with it. They'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Green, the pass to Van Vliet. He kicks to Smith. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Allen. Cavaliers have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And the layup 
fault. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's got 38 points. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Here's Smith. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. With that long stride, Smith will get the angle on you before you know it. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Cavaliers. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. The free throw drops for Smith. Yeah, and Smith has a really smooth and relaxed shooting form. But just like a lot of young players, I think the key is going to be him becoming more efficient. Wade, he's checked in for George Niang. Smith hits them both. Cleveland leading by three. Mitchell outside. To the middle. Pass to Struce. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Garland, that's for two. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got six rebounds in the game. Outside, Green. Brooks outside. Back to Green. Thompson outside. Just four to shoot. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That'll be his second foul of the game. Really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Mitchell outside. This one for three. The Cavaliers with another miss. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And it's Green missing. The Cavaliers leading by three. And Garland has it in the corner. Wait up top. The pass to Mitchell. Wound up there for Allen. He doesn't hit that one. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Green against Mitchell. Green with a screen on Mitchell. For the tie. That is good, and the Cavaliers lead cut down to just one on the bucket from Green. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. Pass to Allen. Outside Garland. Spins. Scores off the spin. Garland. Garland's got seven. Gritty bucket. Garland knows he's going to take contact, but does not back down. Green with a screen for Green. And the layup's good off the glass. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Mitchell against Thompson. Fires for three. And it's Mitchell missing. The Rockets have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Inside, Thompson. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Cavaliers trailing. Arlen kicks to Allen. Allen, a screen on Brooks. Strews passes to Allen, and Allen slams it in. You know, because Allen is so quick with his feet getting out of setting the screen, it makes him hard to guard in the pick and roll. To the paint. And it's Smith missing. Or Cleveland, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Struz passes to Mitchell. Seven foot shot. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. 
no doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Here's Green. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Green is a main bucket getter. and His number has been called all night, and he has delivered. Wade kicks to Mitchell. Kicks it out to Garland. Drains it from beyond the arc. Garland. Garland's got five points in the quarter. Boy, he could have taken it himself, but he went from good, better, to best in getting the shot for his teammate. Here's Brooks, and he goes in for the dunk. Wow. Dylan Brooks off the bounce. Teammates are loving that. Garland, the pass to Allen. Here's Struz, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And so here is Houston following the score by Cleveland. And there's a whistle that goes on Dylan Brooks. That's his third foul of the game. You know, he's got to take care of the ball much better than he has been. By himself, he's accounted for four turnovers. That's way too many. Houston with a big group substitution here. Jock Glendale's checked in for Smith. Jay Shante comes in for Dylan Brooks. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Thompson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Green. Okoro's checked in for Cleveland. Karis Levert comes in for Mitchell. And the Cavaliers call time here. Percentage. And top 10 in fewest turnovers per game. That just tells you this is the group that values taking care of the ball. And that top five is this ranking you brought up, Greg. It shows the kind of chemistry this team has. They don't get caught up in individual play. They're all working together. Now, here's Garland. He's got 10. Shoots over Van Vliet. Garland with the bucket. Garland's got 12 in the game. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And Vliet against Garland. Van Vliet outside. Puts up a T3. Cavaliers with the rebound. Allen's got 11 rebounds in the game. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Allen. Garland's got nine points here in the second half. Pass to Landale. Now, here's Tate. He's guarded close. Here's Holiday. And Okoro pulls it down. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now, here's LaVert. Six points for him. Outside Garland. Drills it from outside. Here is Garland. He's got 17. Oh, very solid from D. Darius Garland hurts you in so many ways. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Hits the three-point pop. How about Dooley from long range just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. The Cavaliers. Cleveland ahead. They finish off the massive 16-7 run. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Toyota Center. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. The 
fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. We've got Fred Van Vliet, Jayshon Tate out there with Green, and it's Holiday in at the two-guard spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Mitchell looking it over. Pass to Merrill. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Merrill's got the lead up to 11 now for the Cavs. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Now that one from Van Vliet. It's been all Van Vliet tonight. One of the best undrafted players in league history. Here's the pass to Levert. From outside, off the mark. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Van Vliet against Levert. He can't get that one to fall. Wade with the defensive effort. The Cavaliers leading by nine. To the inside. Now here's Okoro. Guarded by Green. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Good on the triple. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 43 points. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Here's Van Vliet. Stolen by Mitchell. Okoro with it. Working on Green. Okoro kicks to Levert. Fader on the way. Offensive rebound. Wade. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. And the Cavaliers lead by 14. And here is Van Vliet. Here's Tate. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his fifth assist in this one. Cleveland's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Here's LaVert. That one's not going to go. Rockets have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Pulls up from the corner, and with that shot, the Cleveland leaders cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Van Vliet. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Mitchell outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Okoro wide open. He fires. And he's good on the three ball. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Here's Van Vliet. And it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. 10 of 15 in the contest. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his size. The shot by Mitchell, no good. It's drilled by 11. Here's Van Vliet. Passes to Tate. Here's Landale. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Way to screen on Hubbard. Here's Mitchell. Makes it off the glass. Mitchell's got 45 points. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Van Vliet outside. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. It's just what the doctor ordered here. Boy, have they needed him here in the fourth. Yes, they have. He's made all four of his shots this quarter. Definitely looking to be a dangerous guy. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Rockets have gone six of eight to the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. They double-team Van Fleet. A shot by Tate with no one around. The three-pointer, no good. Cleveland leading by eight. It's Levert on the wing. The pointer hits it from three-point range. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. And Vliet with the bounce pass. 
Stolen by Levert. Mitchell outside. Here's a Coro. Another three for Cleveland. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Here's Tate. Good. Nice job down low. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. On the wing, Mitchell. Guarded by Holiday. Lavert sets a screen for Wade. Down low. And he converts the way. Lavert's got the lead up to 14 now for Cleveland. You got to D up Lavert better than that. I mean, he excels at scoring over the defense. Here's Holiday. The rebound by Merrill. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor. And it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is. And that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Mitchell. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. First team foul. At the line for two, Aaron Holiday. First one falls for him. for the Rockets. Smith checked in for Jock Landale. Brooks comes in for Green, and it's Thompson in for Tate. Both free throws good from Holiday. Cleveland leading by 15. Pass to Niang. Outside Garland. Back to Niang. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Cavaliers. George Niang. Two shots. Shoot two. Free throw good, Niang. Greg is a guy that led the offense, a four general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guards? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillard, Doncic, Morant, and of course CP3 is still going. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Another miss by Houston. The Cavaliers leading by 17. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Green against Mitchell. Outside, Green. On the wing, Brooks. Pocket six. And some nice passing there by Houston. Pass to Smith. And it's Smith finishing it off. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does break. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. A one hand, whole punch. And it's Mitchell missing. Pockets trail by 15. From deep green. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got assist number eight now on the night. And here are the Cavaliers now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Allen finds Garland. And it's 
Mitchell with the jam. Oh, the leaking ability of Mitchell, allowing him to go way upstairs. Van Vliet passes to Smith. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. From deep, Brooks. And another three for Houston. And, and that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. And here's Mitchell from the arc. The Rockets pull it in. He's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. With time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. Garland against Van Vliet. Count it, and the Cavalier lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Smith. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Garland, the pass to Niang. Back to Garland from downtown. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got rebound number eight now on the night. And here's Green outside. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. The Cavaliers leading by six. Garland dishes to Mitchell. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Jalen Green. And that's part of what Mitchell brings to the table. The, the willingness to operate on the perimeter or get in there and mix it up on the interior. Two shots. And he makes the first. And Mitchell drops them both. And people still talk about Mitchell being undersized. I think he's proven his athleticism more than makes up for that. Van Vliet up top. Guarded by Garland. Van Vliet outside. And here's Green outside. Jared Allen grabs the miss. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Here's Mitchell. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Van Vliet against Garland. Out to Smith. A free ball. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Outside Garland. The pass to Allen. Mitchell outside. It's Drews on the wing. That's the good off the assist from Allen. Allen's got assist number five here tonight. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Brooks, the pass to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Jared Allen grabs the miss. The Cavaliers shoot very well right now, 52% in this fourth quarter. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Cavaliers. They enjoyed a big boost from the strong play of their bench. The, the subs came in and did their job. Those points off the bench were key to their victory. And so when you look at the season record, this one will tell you win number 43 on the year. And then they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and with one game left against this squad. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Donovan Mitchell. Well, you have to marvel at how well he picked apart that defense repeatedly. Found the right guy in the right spot at the right time. Cleveland on defense. 17 points was their biggest margin. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
now here's Lavert. He's covered closely. They set the screen. It's good from long range. And the Cavaliers lead by 12. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark.